connector is often someone who saw a problem and through brainstorming, investigation, and trial and error, came up with a solution. Sometimes inventors improve on an existing product or method by doing things which benefits us. Many of these pioneers whose inventions transformed our society are relatively unknown. James West is just such an inventor, not widely known, but one whose invention is used by most of us daily. This is an assortment of technological devices whose widespread use has changed how we live. What do you think is the invention that all these devices have in common? The answer is the electric microphone, a type of condenser microphone. James West, along with his research partner, Gerard Sessler, invented the electric microphone in 1962. The term electric stems from the combination of the words electrostatic and magnet. This mic uses a thin foil material that has been permanently charged, eliminating its need for an external power source. This resulted in a small, durable, and highly sensitive microphone that has many applications in electronics and technology. It became widely used because of its reliability, accuracy, low cost, and small size and weight. The electric microphone is a vital component in the advance of telecommunications. 90% of the microphones in electronics today are based on this invention and more than 2 billion devices with this type of mic are produced worldwide. Electric microphones are found in recording microphones, video game headsets, laptops, tablets, smartwatches, earphones, smart speakers, hearing aids, baby monitors, security systems, and even military applications. James West was born February 10, 1931 in Prince Edward County, Virginia. Even from a young age, James was fascinated with how things worked and enjoyed tinkering with them. He said, if I had a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, anything that could be opened was in danger. I had this need to know what was inside. As a child, James received an electric shock while plugging in an old radio. Mr. West says that he became fascinated by electricity after that, just completely fascinated. I needed to learn everything I could about it. In the late 1940s, James enrolled at Hamden University as a pre-med student. His parents wanted him to study medicine. They were worried about future job prospects for an African-American scientist due to the racism and Jim Crow laws of the South. Despite these concerns, after being drafted and serving in the Army in the Korean War, James enrolled at Temple University in Philadelphia and majored in physics. He received his degree in 1957. When he graduated, West was offered a position as an acoustical scientist at Bell Laboratories, a highly acclaimed information technology and communications research company in New Jersey. While at Bell Labs, he worked with Mr. Sessler to develop the electric microphone. West spent 40 years at Bell Labs working on many projects, focusing on the physics of sound, and he retired in 2001. That same year, he became a professor at the Whiting School of Engineering at Johns Hopkins University, where he remains to this date. Over the course of his career, Mr. West 
has many great accomplishments and has received multiple honors and awards. He holds more than 60 U.S. patents and 200 foreign patents and has published more than 237 scientific papers, book chapters, and other works. Six universities have conferred honorary doctorates to Mr. West. He was inducted to the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1999, and in 2007, he was awarded the National Medal of Technology by the then President George Bush. James West has had a lifelong commitment to racial equality and been a persistent advocate for increasing opportunities for minorities in STEM. He helped launch a summer minority research program at Bell. He co-founded ABLE, which stands for African American Body of Laboratory Employees. And today he is on the board of the Ingenuity Project, which provides Baltimore middle and high school students with accelerated math and science courses. He has also advocated for Johns Hopkins to make greater efforts to recruit and train outstanding minority students in the sciences. Through his work and inventions, West has helped transform our society and improve our lifestyle. In addition to the electric microphone, which is arguably one of the most important pieces of technology ever developed, James West has worked to improve electronic communications between Formula One race car drivers and their crews. He's found ways to decrease noise levels in Johns Hopkins hospital wards. He's helped NASA develop a lightweight vest to monitor the health of astronauts. And most recently, with students at Hopkins, he has been working on developing an automated stethoscope that can detect pneumonia. This year, he will turn 90, and yet he still works tirelessly to invent solutions to problems. It's hard to imagine our world without West's invention that almost everyone uses on a daily basis. So remember, the next time you're FaceTiming on your phone, using your Chromebook for virtual learning, listening to music on headphones, or asking Alexa a question, that you do this thanks in part to James West. For those of you that would like an activity challenge to work on at home, here are some instructions to make a rubber band kazoo, an exercise in vibrations and sound waves from the United States Patent and Trademark Office.